perfect world in our heads. Shargao is a destination that has been on the rise over the past five years. And if you haven't heard about the names of Cloud9 or General Luna, chances are that you've been hiding under a rock. With beautiful waves, an iconic landscape and warm island vibes, Shargao's fame on social media has exploded and it is no surprise that more and more people are being drawn into this place. This race to fame has brought a lot of challenges in the development of the island. This new influx of tourists in such a short amount of time is one of the highest the Philippines had ever faced. Several content creators have already covered the environmental challenges brought by this situation and I will link a couple of great videos in the description for you to learn more about it. In a few seconds now I will show you what the title of this video is all about but I wanted to take the time to do this little introduction because Shargao is potentially at risk now and I wanted you to understand the threat it's facing because we can all be part of the problem but we can also be part of the solution. Now let's go. Awake, all night. With most of the tourists gathered around Cloud9 in General Luna, chances are that you might now be looking to find less crowded places. Hopping on your bike and going north to the towns of Pilar and San Isidro, you will ultimately arrive on the white sand beach of Pacifico. This little fisherman town is an hour and a half away from General Luna and when the conditions are right, it will welcome you with several surf spots on which to catch your perfect waves. This one street town is following Shargao's fast development. What used to be a fishing village is slowly opening itself to tourism. Over the past few years, new accommodations and eating places starting to offer new options for tourists and jobs for locals. But regardless of its growth, Pacifico still remains this quiet town with virtually no internet connection where even simple phone calls may have a hard time to reach you. If you're looking to reconnect with a simple life and enjoy breathtaking sunsets on a white sand beach, Pacifico is made for you. Continuing your journey through the beautiful landscape of the North Shore, you will reach the town of Burgos, where a young platform for local artisans and producers has started to show the blueprint on how to work towards the development of sustainable tourism. As explained on their website, Local Shargao's goal is to empower local communities to use tourism to their advantage rather than being exploited by it. In order to achieve this goal, they initially created local snack bar, only using products sourced locally with affordable price points so locals can also enjoy quality food and drinks. If you're a foodie, you will be extremely surprised by the quality of the food you will get there and their coconut ice cream is simply to die for. They then moved to build local market, a place where producers and artisans can sell their goods. As for the snack bar, all profits are being used towards local communities. And last but not least, Local Stay, a place where tourists can connect with nature in a quiet environment and where part of the income are being used once again to found other community projects. As usual on this island, surfing is never far. Pido's surf shop illustrates how Shargao's development can empower locals into showcasing their skills and open new businesses. Be it surfing lessons, a new custom board or fresh clothes, they got you covered.
Now, if Pacifico and Burgos are by no means hidden places, I'm about to share with you a true off the map and epic spot to discover for yourself. Going towards the tip of the island, you will find Alegria, where a surf spot called Secret, and I'm not even making this up, will be waiting for you if you are adventurous enough to try to find it. You will have to spot a tiny path on the side of the main road and walk through the forest to get to a scenic rocky beach. Even if the swell and surfing conditions were not in our favor at the time, I have seen how majestic this place can be and is one of the reasons I fell in love with Shago even more. And there you have it guys, a quick glance at the northern part of Shargao with cities like San Isidro, Burgos, Pacifico or even Alegria. As you can see it's developing fast, it's maybe not as fast as General Luna but it's getting there. And development is positive, even more so when local leaders are aware of the risk that can come with it, which we can feel seems to be the case here. And it's also your part as a tourist to make sure that the decision you take and you make doesn't impact negatively the life of the people who live on this island.